So now I'm going to show you how to make a stress bag. So what you need is a bag. You can have a bag with handles or you can use a paper bag. Doesn't matter. Whatever is accessible and you have in your house. Secondly, you need bubble wrap. And usually this is something that is in a package that's protecting something fragile. So bubble wrap. Then you're going to need paper. And this is on my website if you want to print it out. So you need paper and you'll need crayons so you can draw with your feelings. And then you're going to need cards, could be index cards or pieces of paper because we're gonna make stress busters. So this is how it works. So we have all these things laid out. Oops, I forgot Play-Doh and Play-Doh, if you have it, okay? So this is how it works. You gather all these things, you have your bag, and you're going to use these tools before you're stressed, because you're gonna think about something that may be stressful. You can use these tools after you're stressed to relieve the stress from your body. So bubble wrap is pretty simple. You rip a piece off, if I could do that. <laughs> oh, I guess not. You rip a piece off, Take a deep breath in, let out an ocean breath. And then I want you to imagine that all the stress in your body is in each bubble. And I want you to twist it and release it. And really release that out, let it go. I'm letting out my stress, letting out my stress, letting out my stress, letting out my stress until you're all done. That's one way to release stress. Another way, is to draw your feelings and thoughts about the stress. You can draw a picture, something you're angry at. You can draw a design that makes you think of stress, like chaos and things are all over the place. You can let that out through paper and art. You can put words, I'm stressed, and I'm feeling out of control, okay? Then you can, for each card, you write stress buster on one, on the other side, you write what you can do. So here are some ideas. Stretch my body like a cat, okay? Stretching actually helps release tension from the body. So if you just stretch up and stretch your legs out and then let out that ocean breath again, you'll feel much better soon. That's one stress buster, another stress buster. Tighten my body for five seconds and let it go. Do it three more times. So, research has shown that if you tighten, your body actually feels that stress, and then you release it, your body learns how to release stress when you feel tense in your body. So if, you're, if you practice, your body's going to learn when it's tense, really release that tension in your body by letting out a long breath, okay? And another one is fall on my bed backwards five times, see if I can bounce back up, and take three deep breaths. So how do you do that? You can imagine you have your birthday cake right in front of you, okay? I want you to put your hands over your nose like a tent. You're gonna close your mouth. You're going to take a big, deep breath through your nose and fill up your belly like there's a balloon in there with air. Fill it up, fill it up, fill it up, and see if you can hold it for three seconds, one, two, three, and then release it with an ocean breath. <sighs> there's another way you can do deep breathing. So again, pretend you're breathing in your birthday cake. Mm, mm, mm. Hold it, fill up your belly balloon with air, and then release it like a flat tire. <sighs> And I want you to release it until you can't release anymore. Because guess what? Your body then is going to go, oh, I need to breathe again. And you're going to take in another deep breath naturally and fill up that belly balloon. And the last thing is Play-Doh. So what's really cool about Play-Doh is you can use it over and over and over. And we do actually hold a lot of stress in our hands. So I want you to feel the Play-Doh, think of your stress, put it in here, mash it up, mash it up, mash it up. You can rip it, squish it, and make it spaghetti. 
rip it, squish it, and make it spaghetti. Let it fall through your fingertips, just like that, okay? Until you feel a sense of relief. Any one of these coping skills, that's the goal. To feel a sense of, oh, I think I let some of my stress out. Okay, so now that you've done everything, you grab your bag, you put your items in your bag, so you get some new bubble wrap, your paper, your stress buster cards, your crayons, and your Play-Doh. You put it all in your bag, and you can write on your bag things to do when I feel stressed to help me calm and catch my breath. Okay? And then you put it somewhere in your room, and you only use it to manage and hold and care for your stress. And guess what? Four points to remember. Number one, practice before a stressful event. Number two, do it after a stressful event. Number three, teach someone else what you've learned. Because guess what? When we teach what we've learned to someone else, we learn it 85 times more. So go and share this with someone else who you think may need the stress bag. And last but not least, let's all help the world go round and just chill. So see you next time. Bye.